Look at people! This is Fisher12 and we have an exciting Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you guys today. Our first Black Ops 3 video and this is going to be my wish list. And fortunately a few things on my wish list have already been confirmed like swift suits, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So let's get into my list and this list is going to go from most important to least important. The first thing on my list is gun balance. I think gun balance is the most important thing to having a successful Call of Duty because I think it adds longevity to the game. Every gun should have a purpose or a reason why it's in the game. You know, every developer, there should be a guiding principle when developing first person shooters or any sort of shooter game. If a developer is going to put a gun to the game, they should ask themselves, why is someone going to use this gun versus this gun? And they should do that comparison with that gun that they're adding in with all the other gun options. Because if there isn't a reason why someone is going to pick one gun over another gun, then it shouldn't be in the game. It shouldn't be brought in because no one's going to use it. And I think if you look at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, how many of the guns are really used? Two. Maybe three, maybe four. Out of how many are in there? 13, 15 guns? I think if we look at Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, I think, is the best example of gun balance. If you look at the assault rifle class, there were just so many viable options in there. There was the FAMAS. Of course, the FAMAS was the best one, but you had the FAMAS, you had the Galil, you had the AUG, you had the AK-47, you had the Commando. The G-11 was wicked unique as well. Like, there were just so many options, and I think that just added longevity to the game, and I think that is ultimately the most important thing is having good gun balance. You want guns that all serve a different purpose. They don't have to be the same purpose, and they don't have to be necessarily like getting the most kills. That doesn't need to be their purpose, but there should be a purpose for every gun. So following up gun balance, I think theater mode is my next important item on my wish list. Their theater mode was just super innovative, and it really allowed for a different way to explore Call of Duty. I think there were just so many different style of montages and ways of showing off clips and things that happen in game. Theater mode was just a very unique uh, aspect to Call of Duty. And all the time too, you know, if you, d this isn't really needed with the new generation consoles, but like if you didn't record something, if you didn't have your capture card turned on or something, you could go back into theater mode, take that last game, record it, and now you had that gameplay. And I can't tell you how many times me and probably other commentators used that feature. So I would love to see theater mode come back. Another mode that I like to see return is league play. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't want to see le league play return. I think the the good thing about League Play was that it was the first time that it separated the pl competitive players, the players who were really trying hard at the game, from the players who just wanted to have a more casual experience. And I think that is crucial because both those groups of players have different needs and different wants in their Call of Duty game. And having those two different modes allows the developer to kind of tweak the rules a certain way so that the competitive players can have their style of playing and the, com and the, sorry, and the casual players can have their style of playing. Also in addition to, I feel like in pub matches, you only want to reach level 50 a certain number of times before it starts to get boring, before it starts to get repetitive. Whereas in League Play, there's sort of this always fluctuating up and down, getting better, getting worse in the rankings. So it kind of keeps you wanting to always strive. Obviously until you reach the very top, but it's a much longer journey and it's there's more highs and lows. And it again, it's one of those things that just adds longevity to the game. So I'd like to see League Play return as well. And another mode I'd like to see return Zombies, absolutely. Who doesn't want to see zombies return? I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't play a lot of Black Ops 2 zombies. I do remember that I think they had that innovative mode where like you could be the zombie against someone who wasn't the zombie, so that was pretty cool. But I absolutely loved Black Ops 1 zombies. I don't I don't want to speak, you know, if Black Ops 2 zombies was good or bad, because like I said I didn't play it, but Black Ops 1 zombies was amazing. I remember that I was so in love with Black Ops 1 zombies, I stayed up till like 3 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, for when they released the moon map. That that just blew my mind, that map, how you were in outer space. But I loved that they took everything that was good about the very original zombies, they brought it back into the new zombies, and then incorporated newer aspects to it. And then they took those newer aspects and incorporated them back into the original maps. So you kind of had that old school mixed with the new school. So I really loved what they did with the original zombies. I have to assume that Black Ops 2 zombies was good, but like I said, I don't want to give a definite opinion on it because I think that would just be wrong to do, but I hope we see a return of the Black Ops 1 style zombies. 
Now, something else that I like to see the return of, and I'm not sure many people will agree with me because I know people seem to dislike the exosuits, but I want to see some sort of quick movement or quick maneuvers return to Call of Duty. I really appreciate being able to dash and boost out of sticky situations. I appreciate being able to die and be able to get back to the other side of the map really quickly. I think there is nothing more annoying for me in a Call of Duty game. Well, that's not entirely true. The second most annoying thing for me in a Call of Duty game is when I get great map positioning and then I die instantly and I spawn back all the way on the other side of the map and now I have to walk or run all the way to the other side to get back to that great map positioning. Whereas in Advanced Warfare, you don't really have that problem. You die and you can get back to that spot literally within 10 seconds. And I also think it makes two for like a lot of quick games, you know, in Uplink specifically like there could be 10 seconds left and the game is not over. Someone can score an uplink in 10 seconds because of that, and I think it really makes players play down to the last second, and that's just an element of Call of Duty that I like. So I would like to see some sort of quick movement return, whether that's dashing or wall riding or maybe a slightly less boosting ability. Uh, but this has fortunately actually already been confirmed in a way. Um, well, I shouldn't say definitely confirmed, but there was a leak from the Call of Duty website. This leak was from Presto Friends 351 on Twitter. He tweeted a picture of the Call of Duty website, and there's a little blurb right here that talks about future movement in Call of Duty. I'm just going to read it all to you guys. It says, Deploy your soldier onto the battlefield with the all-new Agile Swift Suit that allows you to perform quick maneuvers never before seen in the Call of Duty series. Black Ops 3 introduces the all-new COD Cash Currency, a revolutionary weapon and gear trading system, four brand new game modes, and sets an all-high time of over 20 pre-launch maps, 500 pre-launch weapon variants, and takes player customization to a whole new level. So right there, we definitely get confirmation that there is going to be quick maneuver abilities returning to Black Ops 3. You know, they say right there specifically, all, the all new Agile Swift Suit. Now, they may decide to change the name. This may not be the definitive name. This may not be real at all, but assuming that it is, it looks like we will get a return of these quick movement in the form of a swift suit. What's interesting is that they do make that bold statement never before seen in a Call of Duty series. So if it's never before seen before, we have to assume that maybe it won't be boosting, it might not be dashing, we haven't seen wall riding, or not wall riding, but wall running or wall scaling yet necessarily. We've seen a little bit of grappling, so maybe that is something that they include. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think will be the never-before-seen movement to these new Swift suits. Um, but also in this blurb right here, we confirm two more things that I was actually looking forward to, which are gun variants and a trading system. So I think gun variants add a lot of... I guess longevity, I don't really think that's the best word to use, but it adds a newer element where, sure, you get the bet, you get a good gun, but you don't necessarily get the best version of the gun, and you can still work towards unlocking stuff. Maybe longevity is the best word. I guess that does add longevity. But I think more important than the gun variants is the trading system. And the issue with Call of Duty Advanced Warfare now is that you get three of the same weapon, you get three speakeasies, and you have nothing to do with the other two except redeem them for points. But if you could trade them to a friend for maybe another elite weapon that you don't have, then both of you are happy eggs. So that would be really interesting to see, and it looks like they are going to incorporate that, I believe they say, a revolutionary, yes, a revolutionary weapon and gear trading system. So an element to this trading system that I'd like to see incorporated too, or just into the whole money aspect involving this COD cash, is I'd like to see them incorporate wager matches again. I think the original Black Ops did an amazing thing with making everything basically based off a currency. And I would like to see that currency return, and I would love to see wager mode or wager matches incorporated into that. Because once wager matches stopped becoming wager matches and they became regular pub matches, I stopped playing them. I lost interest in them. I didn't think that they were as interesting. There was just an element of betting some of this money that was valuable versus... Yeah, I guess I'll get some experience. I guess I won't get as much experience if I don't finish first. You know, that kind of risk-reward element is kind of gone, and I didn't really appreciate that. Um, and I'd also like to see them remove microtransactions, too. This is kind of on par with the whole trading money cash thing. I hate microtransactions. I just think they're stupid in Advanced Warfare. I think... Advanced Warfare was great how you could really work towards getting supply drops and supply drops dropped. A lot of elite weapons where it seems as now they don't drop as many and if you really want to get a good amount of elite weapons or elite items, you have to buy a bulk of them. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't want to spend $20 just to 
unlock things in a video game that will not be important once the next Call of Duty comes out. I think that was a real mistake. If anything, I would have loved to see a microtransaction that you can buy exactly what you want. That way it gives an even playing field to all the players, whereas there's not the chance of someone buying 200 supply drops and they have a greater chance of getting the Obsidian Steed than someone who can only afford to buy five. It's definitely a play-to-win style that I don't appreciate in Call of Duty, so I, I wouldn't mind if they took it out. So I can see that we're turning this into a long video, so I'll kind of hurry up with these last ones. These last ones are quick anyway. I'd like to see Uplink return, and I'd like to see Demolition return. Demolition hasn't been in Call of Duty for a while. That was my favorite game mode prior to Uplink, which is why I want to see Uplink return. A lot of people still aren't sold about Uplink, but I think it makes for amazing, exciting, both public matches and competitive matches as well. So hopefully Uplink and Demolition return. I'd also like to see them do something with war or momentum. I think there's a good idea there. I think there's a good idea with a game mode involving more than three flags, maybe like a five flag domination game mode type thing would be neat to see, but I'd like to see them incorporate something with that. Something involving more flags, something that forces the players to spread out across, across the map as opposed to maybe just going to the essential choke points. The other thing I'd like to see, and this probably should be higher, this, realistically, deep down, this is number one. No joining games in progress. I, the most annoying thing for me in any Call of Duty game is when I join a game that is already in progress. That's all, that literally there is no chance for me to win. Why on earth would Call of Duty think that it betters the player experience to drop me into a game that has two minutes left and I'm down by 100 points? Maybe it's domination or hard point, whatever the game mode. I'm down by 100, I'm down by 200 points, and I'm also down three players against the enemy team. Like, why is that something that I should be subjected to? I don't want to join a game that is already in progress. Just make it so that I can only join games that haven't started yet. I don't care if it takes an extra five to 10 minutes for me to get into a lobby or a game. Make that happen. I don't want to join a game that's already in progress, that there's no chance of me winning, that I don't get to play the full map, and that if I leave, I also get a loss, too. That's the thing, too. You put me into a game that has 30 seconds left, I get a loss, and there's nothing I can do about it. And that's just not fair to me, especially if I was on a win streak. Another annoying thing about Call of Duty that I'd like to see disappear. Skill-based matchmaking. I don't know what it is about skill-based matchmaking, but somehow that equation, that algorithm turns into, okay, let's give Fisher 12 all the bad players and put him against all the players that are working together, that have microphones, that care about winning. And it's like, how? How is this my gaming experience every single time? And there's nothing I can do about it because it's skill-based matchmaking. There is an algorithm that somehow I just happen to, or at least I feel like I fall into the wrong end of. And it would be great if that disappeared and it was completely random so I don't keep getting stuck with the bad players every single time because this algorithm doesn't seem to change from game to game. It still sticks to you with the same players that you just played with that you just lost. Maybe one player leaves and you get a new player, but for the most part, the lobbies stay exactly the same and it ends up me having to be the Slayer and the OBJ player and I don't want to do that. That's not the gaming experience that I want where I feel like I have to hustle my ass off every single time to pick up my team slack. Sorry, that was a little bit of a rant there, so we'll close it off with something a little more lighthearted. I would like to see the return of some unique kill streaks. Uh, two things that come to mind, Black Ops 1, the Napalm Strike. I orgat, I jizz over the Napalm Strike, man. Just being able to drop that lane of fire. Mm, I'm imagining in my head right now, enemy Napalm Strike incoming! Absolutely amazing. Probably my favorite kill streak out of any Call of Duty. And then in Black Ops 2, one thing that I really liked, although it, you probably didn't like it if it kills you, the Hunter Killer drone. I just like that kill streak that you you got it and you could just quickly get rid of it and it would probably get you a kill and you didn't have to worry about it. It was just like a unique thing to just get this drone, throw it. And I thought it was really realistic too because that's definitely what they do in the military today. They definitely have those type of drones where they just kind of pull it out, they throw it, and it goes. So that's going to be my wish list for Black Ops 3. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' wish list looks like. I believe the reveal is the 26th, so this Sunday we'll find out if any of our wish lists, any more items on there come true. But guys, that's going to do it for this video that I have for you guys today. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure to stalk me on Twitter after hours, at Fisher12, same as the channel name, link down in the description alongside a link to my live stream over at twitch.tv slash Fisher12, where I live stream Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I apologize, I haven't been live streaming recently. I know I've kept saying that I live stream Monday through Friday, even though I haven't live streamed in about half a week or so, and that is just because I've had finals, but finals are over, so the live streams will return starting tonight, so I hope to see you guys there. I hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.